Hello, and welcome to my backyard. Uh, we have some renovations going on where I usually shoot, so I had to improvise. So, enjoy your stay. This is Indie Spotlight. Welcome to Indie Spotlight, the show where we take video game news, trailers, and new release in the indie uh, category, and we get them out there for you guys to check them out. I am your host, Kyle Locke, and as always, this week we'll be starting with trailers. The first trailer that we have for you this week is Raven Sword Shadowland. Five hundred years ago, the fates were with us. When the Demon Lord was slain, its presence was vanquished from Tyrius. But in our greed, the wars began anew. In our arrogance, the true enemy was forgotten. Now, our fate turns on the life of a lone hero who shall live or die by the sword. Raven Sword is going to be coming out for iOS. Uh, I'm an Android person, so hopefully it comes out for Android eventually. If you're watching, make it happen. Um, so, as since it's a uh, title for the iOS, I'm not especially excited for it, but it does look very awesome. It looks like a Skyrim type game, uh, but on a mobile device, so that's going to be absolutely amazing uh, to be able to see something like that uh, come to life uh, on such a small screen or an iPad if you have one of those. It's still going to be pretty amazing, so uh, it looks very, very, very impressive, uh, and I'm excited to see how people like it. The second trailer that we have for you this week is Primordial. The world man built was perfect. A perfect machine made up of a million imperfect parts. As long as we performed our functions, the machine ran smoothly. But some robots wanted to do less than their functions. Some robots wanted to take more than they deserved. This world won't be saved until man returns and formats it afresh. Primordial looks actually really cool. It looks like an old style adventure game, kind of like Monkey Island, uh, where it's kind of a point and click, uh, solving puzzles, doing things like that. So it actually looks very interesting. Uh, and I love the steampunk vibe to it. So I love steampunk. I think it's really cool. Uh, it's a really cool style and fashion. And so I just, I go crazy for like all that kinds of stuff. So uh, I'm super excited to see how this one turns out. It looks very cool. The final trailer that we have for you this week is Party of Sin.
as you saw from the trailer, Party of Sin is going to be about the seven deadly sins. Uh, and the story is supposed to be about them trying to get out of hell. So it looks like it's going to be a very fun kind of platformer action game, kind of a beat-em-up style. Uh, it looks like it's just going to be, you know, kind of just this meaningless fun and using different abilities based on the different sins. So it looks like it's going to be just, you know, an enjoyable little entertainment title. Uh, so I'm excited to see uh, how that comes out. Graphics look very nice. looks very, uh, very, very vivid. Uh, so definitely going to check that out. All right, the first bit of news that we have for you this week is that PBS has a web show called Off Book. Uh, basically, it's like a mini documentary style web show, uh, and it's you know about eight minutes long. But they just released something called The Creativity of Indie Video Games. So it just talks about you know kind of like indie game the movie, um, but about indie video games in general, the development of them. Uh, it's about eight minutes, as I said. Uh, so if you want, you can go and check that out. It's very interesting to check it out. It's it's kind of more for gen for a general audience but uh, it does have some good information. Speaking of Indie Game the movie, you can actually now find that over on Netflix for streaming. Uh, apparently they just got put over on Netflix, so if you want to go stream Indie Game the movie, you can now go ahead and do that. The final bit of news is actually a more personal one. Uh, last week I told you about the Microsoft Xbox rewards system that they just put in and how they're going to be giving you know different rewards out and stuff for people. Uh, and I said if I you know got a gift, for my birthday month that I would let you know. Sure enough, I got my gift. Do you want to know what it was? 20 Microsoft points. 20 Microsoft points was my special gift and I'll be getting 2% off from marketplace purchases from now on for getting a, a gamer score above 50,000. The f Microsoft. The f I don't care if I have to bleep that two times. I'll bleep it a third time. The f Microsoft. Let's move on. New releases that we have this week. We have War of the Roses, Revelade Revolution, and then the Origin of Pain DLC for Trials Evolution. Thanks for watching this episode of Indie Spotlight. As always, if you have any information, any news or trailers about indie video games, you can let me know over at Twitter at twitter.com slash Dazerin, Ryan at twitter.com slash Masterblood, or VVGTV at twitter.com slash VVGTV. Again, I am your host, Kyle Locke, and I will see you next week when hopefully our renovations are done and I don't have to be out here in the freezing cold. It is freezing, and it's windy, and it's Ohio, and it's just terrible weather. You, if you don't live in Ohio, don't move here. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. It's horrible. Don't move here. See you next week. <laughs>